Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're going to go through a side kick drill. And uh, what I'm going to do is explain how you can do this in partners to make it work in a sparring drill type sense. But the main uh, objective of this is to get the person that's kicking to move with fast, but also demonstrate very good control. And secondly, the person that's defending to make sure that they are moving very fast, but also aware of the angle or how to defend against these kicks. Now, when you practice this in partners, obviously I'd recommend you have gloves on to protect your hands. Um, obviously, uh, full sparring equipment would be good, but if you don't have access to that, but you still want to do the drill, it just means there's a, an emphasis on no touch contact, okay? Anyway, the, the drill happens like this. So we're gonna start, if I'm gonna face the side so you can see what combination you're gonna do. So from here, you're gonna do three side kicks. And we're gonna, we're gonna start off with side kick, we're gonna do stepping in side kick, or those are a bit more advanced, skipping in side kick, and then we're gonna finish with a spin. All right, so I'll demonstrate the attacks first, and then I'll demonstrate the defensive movements. All right, so from here, you have your guards, your chamber, and go one, down, step in, two, down, spin, three, and down into the guard. Now, as that's happening, okay, what you wanna be targeting with the defense is the back of the leg. Um, the reason for that is because if you try to defend a side kick in uh, in sparring sense, in, in self-defense, if someone was going to give you a side kick, you wouldn't parry it and knock it out of the way like that. It, it's it's going to be treated differently. But this is for a light continuous sparring drill. Okay. So when the side kick comes in, as I said, you want to target the calf to defend it. The reason for that is if you tap the shin, okay. So for instance, if I was facing you and you used your left hand to tap my shin, that's gonna encourage me to turn and come back in with a punch or possibly another kick. Whereas if you defended it with your right hand, okay, which targets here, then what will happen is when you knock it, it will land me here. Now for the drill, what happens is after that, we follow up with a stepping in side kick. So defenses wise, Okay, I'm going to do it facing this way so you can see exactly what to do. So you have left leg forward, your partner will also have left leg forward, okay? So their side kick is coming from this side. So what you're going to do first, with your hands open, if you haven't got gloves on, or if you have got gloves on, even better, okay? But you step back, okay, with this leg, and you do a low block type action to the back of the calf muscle. And you don't do it heavy, it's like a hammer, all right? It's just like this. See, so all you're doing is just dropping it down to the to meet the back of their leg, okay? Um, general rule of thumb of this is, if they kick you on this side, then you wanna step back with this side. So for instance, if the kick's coming this way, then I wanna move this leg back so that we're on the right path, okay? So, from here, a step back against the kick. So we end up like this. Right now, I'm gonna change my angle for this one now. So we've landed like this. So now what happens is your partner does a stepping in side kick. This is quite simple from here. All you need to do is keep your guard up and cross step backwards. Basically, you need to mimic them, okay? So you cross step backwards here, making sure you pull your hands up to guard. Then as they do their side kick, you step out, block again, with the same arm that you used before, the same one, okay? So you're facing your partner. So the side kick comes in, you step back, block the back of the leg, they step in, you step back. And as they do the kick, you step out and go like this. So now, what comes after that? The spinning side kick. All we need to do from there is, when your partner starts spinning, okay, all we have to do is step this leg round, all right, and block the opposite side. And then you'll be back to where you started. Okay, so let's go for it briefly one more time. So the attacker, well the person kick is, is, is doing the, uh, the side kicks. I'll face you so you can see the angle, all right? So I'm gonna go side kick, all right, with this leg, which means you're gonna step your left leg back, all right, and you're gonna block it with your right arm. And remember, it's going on the back of my leg. We'll do it virtual, okay, ready? So there I go, I go kick, so you've gotta use your right arm and block, boom. So now we should both be in a position like this, except I'm facing this way and you should be facing that way, okay? Now, from here, as I step in, you cross step back, but we keep our bodies as they are. So we don't turn our body or anything like that. We just keep as we are, all right? We cross step, 
You cross step as well. Then as I do the side kick towards you, you step out, okay, and then blow up the back of my leg again. So we should exactly we should still be like this. You're still facing that way, I'm still facing this way. So now when I go for my spin side kick, I'm turning this way, okay? So what you need to do is you need to step your leg back and round, so the leg's in front of you, round that way, so you will end up facing that way, okay? So when I spin round and catch you here, you actually block the back of my leg, okay? It's quite a intricate drill at first, but between you and a partner, you'll be able to work out the footwork, okay? I'll just show you the footwork by itself one more time, all right? So from here, we've got our guard up, all right? The side kick's coming in, so we're gonna step this side back first. We're gonna use this arm, all right? We're gonna block, okay? Now from there, we're gonna step back, pull the guard in, and use the same arm again, block, okay? And then as they spin, we step our front leg round. We don't turn back on ourselves because we expose ourselves. We just keep looking this way. Step round and block like so, okay? And when you're practicing that, the side kick should be aimed at the midsection. But remember, you are unlikely to all have protective equipment for this at this stage. So make sure if you practice it, you either practice with no touch contact or if you do it in sparring kit, then make sure that you, you uh, do it on a, a light, continuous contact basis, all right? So you're not looking to plow each other into next week with your side kicks, okay? But give that draw a try. Uh, like and share the, the video, give us a comment, let me you know, make sure uh, you're understanding it, and uh, let us know how you get on. And uh, we'll, there'll also be follow-up videos in the future with an actual part, a, a physical partner being here to do it with us. But for now, see what you can make of that, okay? Take care of yourselves, and as always, happy training.